In the meantime, back on Capitol Hill, let the budget battle begin because conservatives are outraged about the deal over House GOP leaders uh, reaching that deal rather with the White House. They're saying that the outgoing Speaker John Boehner, they believe, caved too easily. But Speaker Boehner stands by the agreement. He says that he's wrapping up the loose ends before he leaves office. The agreement isn't perfect by any means, but the alternative uh, was a clean debt ceiling increase without any additional support for our troops and without any entitlement reforms. Listen, I made it clear a month ago when I announced that I was leaving uh, that I wanted to do my best to clean the barn. Uh, I didn't want him to walk into a dirty barn full of you-know-what. So uh, uh, I've done my best to try to clean it up. So when asked about the deal, Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions said, quote, my knees quiver at the sound. I'm worried about how fast it's moving. I see no reason for that. Based on what we know now, it appears that the president got whatever he wanted. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel, live now on Capitol Hill. So, Mike, what is the likely next speaker, Paul Ryan, saying about this deal from his side? Well, Martha, Paul Ryan told us that the process stinks and says that things will change under his new leadership. However, a few minutes ago, Ryan offered this statement saying, quote, what has been produced will go a long way toward relieving the uncertainty hanging over us, and that's why I intend to support it. Ryan sees this deal as an opportunity to wipe the slate clean. However, here's a sample of some conservative frustration. The process is problematic for many of us to, you know, have this large of a bill with these types of issues brought before the conference at the 11th hour is, is troubling. It's not the way that members of Congress uh, should do business. I will not be voting for it because, in my view, it is financially irresponsible. It increases spending by roughly $80 billion a year, uh, excuse me, over a two-year period of time. Ryan is pledging a more inclusive process when he becomes the next Speaker of the House, expected tomorrow morning, and he says that there will be fewer of these last-minute major deadline deals, Martha. Mm. So it would get a lot of things off his plate, and he could focus on other things, but these folks obviously want this deal stopped. Can that happen? Well, nothing's 100 percent certain these days in the United States Congress, but most sources I've talked to sound convinced it will go through. There is some anger from lawmakers representing serious agricultural states and farming communities about a $3 billion cut in crop insurance. So expect to hear some complaints about that. But a lawmaker who says he's a likely no offered us this prediction this morning. I think it's pretty well baked at this point. Uh, I think uh, Democrats and many Republicans have signaled that they will vote for it. So I would expect that it's on a glide path uh, to actually pass and, and go to the president's desk. Expect votes in favor from a lot of Boehner allies, Democrats, those who are national security lawmakers, and also those who are the appropriators here on Capitol Hill because this will give them some certainty, Martha. All right. Thanks, Mike.